This video is meant to show you how to quickly move PDF files that are uploaded and linked to one environment, in this case this is a League Easy website, to Milo, My League Online, which is here on the, on the left. So New Hampshire is moving over to Milo and they have a lot of PDFs on their League Easy website. Now this could be any site anywhere. It could be a WordPress site that they've managed independently. It doesn't matter. This process is going to be exactly the same. But there are a lot of PDFs linked and when the League Easy website is taken offline, then those links will no longer work unless they are moved. Those files are moved over to Milo or to a Google Drive folder or somewhere else where those files can exist on the internet so that they can be downloaded. I've made this an incredibly large video because there's a lot that I want you to see in terms of the process of the easiest way of moving these PDFs. And because there's so much to see, I need a lot of screen space. So please make your video as big as you can so that you can see some of the small details, but I'll try to point out what's going on here. Okay. So this here on the left, this is the Milo system. And what I need to do is make sure that all of the 2015 newsletters from League Easy Web over here on the right are linked, are uploaded and linked over here in Milo on the left. These links up here are from me copying and pasting the text from the original site to the new site and if I mouse over all of these links and you look down in the bottom left hand corner, it's really tiny, but you'll see the URL that that link is pointing to and it says lwvnh.org. That is the old Leak Easy website, the site that's currently online, which means that the PDF is there, not in Milo. So if once Milo goes live, if somebody clicked on this link, that file would not exist. That would be a broken link. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mouse over these new ones that I'm creating down here, which by the way, I'm using semantic markup. Notice these are all in a list and there is documentation to help with what semantic markup means. You always want to make sure that you're using semantic markup. But if I mouse over any of these and you look down at that same location in the bottom left corner, it says my.lwv.org. That is the Milo URL, and that's what you want the URL to be for your files in order to know that they are going to download. Now, I've gone through April. I'm going to do February. I'm going to talk through it fairly slowly, and then we're going to go ahead and do January fairly quickly so that I can kind of re-go um, re through everything in this same video. So I'm going to click right here with my cursor right after April press return to generate a new list item. And now I'm going to go to the old system. I'm going to highlight the text of the link uh, to the PDF that I want to move over to Milo. Now I'm going to right click on that. What I get is a contextual menu. And if you're using a Mac and you have a single button mouse like I do, then you might need to hold the control key down when you click in order to quote unquote right click and get that contextual menu. Depending on what browser you're on, the text will say something like copy link location or copy link or copy URL. What you're looking for is the destination that that text will take the user to if they click on that link. So in this case, I'm choosing copy link location. Now, first, before I continue, I just want to clarify that I'm only going to use this technique for files. This is not a technique that I'm going to use for actual links. This is a method for moving files from your old system to your new system when you have a whole bunch like this in as fast of a way as possible. Now I'm going to click on my Milo site, make sure that my cursor is in the exact location that I want this link to land. Then up here in my WYSIWYG, there's this icon that looks like a, um, a picture and it says add media if I mouse over it. I'm going to click on that. Now I can add this, this file that I've copied the link to. The first tab here is upload, which requires that the file be on my system so that I can upload it. But I haven't downloaded the file. The file still only exists on LWV net, um, L, the old Lou site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this web tab where I can enter a URL. 
and I'm going to paste that URL that I just copied. Then I'll click Next, and what it's doing right now is it's grabbing that file and moving it. I'll click Next again. So it's grabbing that file and literally moving the file from the Loo server to the Milo server. It's, it's moving a copy, so it'll still be on the Loo server, but it's creating a copy of that file on Milo. Now I'm going to go back to this page here and I'm going to copy that link text that, uh, that I highlighted. Not the link this time, but the text that I want the user to see. On a Mac, that's Command C, and on Windows, that's Control C. Or you can go up to the Edit menu in your browser and choose Copy. Once I've copied that, now I'm going to paste that under File Name. And I'm also going to paste it in File Description, but I'm going to add a couple more words that users might want to use in order to find this particular file. So this is a newsletter, so I'll add the words Newsletter. And just in case somebody searches by New Hampshire instead of NH, I'll put those words in there as well. We don't currently have a media tag for newsletters. We may soon. For now, I'm going to choose current members because that's the most logical choice for this particular item. And then I'll click Save. Now this file has been added to the Milo system, and it's in My Files. And at this point, I'm now on the screen that will allow me to add this file to my page. So I'll click Submit. And there it is. The link is right there. And if I mouse over it, you'll see in the bottom left corner, it says my.lwv.org. And that's what I want. Now I'm just going to do this one more time with that last newsletter in the list so that you can see how this works one more time. I'll press return. I'm going to come over to the original site, highlight the text for the link that I'm going to move, right click, Choose Copy Link Location, come back over to Milo, make sure that my cursor is where I want it to be, click on the Add Media button, choose the Web tab because what I have is a URL, not a file to upload, choose Next so that it transfers a copy of that media to the new server. I'll give it a moment while it does this. Click Next again because I do want it to go into public files. Now I'm going to go back to the original system here. I'm going to copy this link text here. This is the link text, not the link location. I'm going to paste that into the name because that's what I want the user to see. Under File Description, I'm going to add whatever other words may be needed if somebody is trying to search for this content give it a, an appropriate media tag, and then click Save. Now I have that instance of the file in Milo, and I'm going to go ahead and submit it to the page. And boom, there's the link right there. I'm just going to clean this up. I'm going to delete the old links, which are going to the old system. I don't need those anymore. And do a little bit more cleanup here. All right, that looks nice. Now let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Added 2015 newsletters. Put it in the published state and click Save so that we can look at this. All right, now I'm going to scroll down to the 2015 newsletters. There's a little bit of formatting that I'll want to fix. That's OK. I can just go back and edit this and fix that. But if I click on any of these files, it'll take me to the PDF. And if I look up here in my URL bar, you'll see that this file is on my.lwv.org, not on the old League Easy web system. So when the site switches over, those PDF links will not break.